life can throw so many rocks at your head. And if your mouth is open and ah, a rock will get you right between the teeth. And then you're choking on rubble. Can you take it? Can you spit out the molten? Can you keep going on? My potato? Ooh. that didn't make it to the fireplace. Mary's ailments, dear diary. Nothing possesses the sobering power of fatal disease. The consumption has been better than the occasion of them as of blooding handkerchiefs. The fluids in my lungs. Though I have my bad days of constant coughing fatigue, I find myself forgetting my strength. The more I think of my infatuation with Sam, the more I wish he could leave me be. I love him terribly, but the more I think of our situation, the more I realize that I cannot be the one for him. Even if I survive this ordeal, he will have given me his love to someone else. Someone more deserving of than invalid. Oh, come on now. Someone with more noble character than a diseased peasant girl. Someone charming, someone pretty, someone who knows how to act like a lady. I have sworn myself to that, and when next arrives, I will redirect his attention elsewhere. It will be the toughest thing I've ever done, but I shall have to do it. Please do not hate me, Sam, my love. Please don't hate me. I can never hate you. Hate doesn't exist. I never noticed those stairs before. And so I left and didn't return. Oh, I want to go up the stairs! I knew deep down that she was right about my destiny, about my obligations. I couldn't live the rest of my life dreaming of a future that would never come to fruition. As long as Mary was part of my life, I would never be able to get over her. My only option was to forget she existed. No. It was a selfish thing to do, but necessary. No! You cannot forget what made you happy. Because nothing travels faster than the speed of light with the possible exception of bad news, which obeys its own special laws. Mostly on the stones, Adams. Knowing. No, I'm not crying. Are sweating. you feeling all right, Samuel? Of course not. Of course I am. Why do you ask? <laughs> There's something different about you. You seem less tense. Oh, that's a bad thing? Of course not. It's just not like you to be relaxed. Hey. Well, maybe it's because I have a beautiful fiancé. Well, I'm glad you think so. Just out of curiosity, have you visited Mary lately? Um, I, I guess not. Sorry, I, I shouldn't have mentioned it. I just know she's your friend, and well... It's okay. Well, I have to go before it gets dark. We're still moving things into the house, and I'll need to straighten things up for tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow? Yes, I'll stop by after work. Have a good night. I could use a drink. Maybe I should curl up in the wine cellar and pass out. Are we in, uh... Let me catch you like I forgot last time. Are we back in the present? I think this is my house now. Like I said, life throws rocks at you. And what better way to counter those painful hits? Not my style, but I think that's what he wants to do. Mike, I guess, Mike Tinderbox is the only actor more. <laughs> that's 
the laboratory. Young Master Quentin! Huh? What? Wh wh what's wrong? Gregory? Mary has... Oh, oh god, I wish it wasn't so... Wait, wait what's happened? What's wrong with Mary? <coughs> she passed on early this morning. I'm so sorry, sir. She was recovering! Where is she? Where is she now? Is she home? Is she in heaven? Memories of her just came rushing back. Of the mountains we've climbed. Of the mischief we managed when Mom had her back turned. We spent many an hour in the attic, organizing old papers and sifting through old family records. Mary! I have to find you! Where would you have been yourself? Are you in my house? Should I rush out the front door and find you smiling with warm eyes and bobbing blood? I'll find you. I'll be there. You're supposed to break in my anger. sooner or later. Seriously, why haven't we still built a throughway? in which it is stored and anything else which is poured. Thank you for coming, Samuel. It's no problem, Mrs. Listener. She was doing so well, too, for a while. When Martha visited her, she... Wait, Martha came to see her? When? Yesterday evening, she stopped by and gave my little Mary her best. On the nightstand was a bottle of turpentine. Rat poison gave Mary her best, my ass. Martha was reacting fit of jealousy to my love with her. She couldn't deal with Mary being my best friend, despite insisting that she didn't want to get between us at all. She murdered Mary, slipped a little turpentine into her water, watched her life slowly and painfully drift away. Are you all right, Samuel? I'm fine. I must be going. Time to see what you have to say for yourself. Come out! You like what I have planned? I have the feeling someone is watching me, standing behind me, guiding my actions. Who is there? 
Now I'm scared. Is this a dagger which I see before me? The handle towards my hand. Come, let me clutch thee. I have thee that. not, and yet I see thee still. I didn't do that. Stop it. I don't know which way is more dangerous. Both ways. Okay, I play a mysterious game. Vengeance and anger. Samuel, hi, I I didn't expect to see you all so soon. I will kill you, you cunt. Pardon? I didn't catch that. Feeling proud of yourself. What? You met with Mary last night. Why? Well, I just wanted to talk to her. I I didn't really know her and... BULLSHIT! She was discovered dead this morning! And do you know what I found in her nightstand? A bottle of turpentine. Oh my! But I thought she was... Wait, turpentine? What are you saying, Samuel? She was getting better! Getting stronger! Now she's dead. Oh! What are you doing, Samuel? You don't really think I poisoned her, do you? There were rats in her room. I was trying to... Shut up. Silence! <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What are you doing? What you earned! Ah! No. No, please stop. You took her from me! You took her from me, you bitch! Fine in here. She's having a nightmare. Yes, we are living. Is that in the mirror? I can't look. Oh, the avatar of this wicked beast. Is it one of the devil's minions come to claim the fresh kill as its own? You can't have her, Hellspawn. She's mine. She will suffer my hand, not at yours. Her life is mine. Insubordination will not be tolerated. spoke of Samuel, she exhibited a fondness for him, and well, it seemed to be just a darn it. I can't not make it still away from him. It seems I passed her test, and she told me to go and show him love, as she has accepted her fate with no jealousy on her part. That is, she was happy for both of us with a promise that she would never get between the two of us. 
with both of us in fairly good spirits. I feel sad as I was in the middle of this. Never meant to create this schism for either of them. But she is wise. And I know that Samuel will come around someday. He's a gentle, so yeah, right. Deep down. I will give him the time he requires and he's ready. I'll be there for him, Martha Harrison. Yes, I suppose you were a victim too. Was it your choice to be thrown into this... ...marriage? What was all the racket about? What are you two do- Is that blood? What on earth happened? Martha, where are- Oh my god. What the hell did you do? You sick fuck! What did you do to my daughter? I'll kill you! I'll kill you, you twisted bastard! Excuse the fire that did. Excuse the fact that maybe there's another alternate ending that I didn't do. But this is what I'll show for now. This has indeed been a JT High production. And another excellent playthrough by the very scared Jughead for Legends in Our Free Time. Now.